necessarily slow start, but takes the first few rounds to see what his opponent comes out after he's seen what his opponents can do. What we saw in his last fight against Broner utilizing that Philly shell, made famous by the likes of James Tony and Kenny Norton. As well. Looks for the lead left hook that catches nothing but air. Bounce out of the exit, just past the minute mark of the second round. Malinaji attacking the body. Two combination. There's a nice straight right hand that tags Malinaji. Fight, focusing more on conditioning than strength for this fight as they continue to throw leather. Malinaji attacking the body while Broner able to pick him off upstairs with a straight right. Anybody expecting a fight that wasn't interesting? A fascinating fight already so far. Very entertaining start. Three punch combination culminating with a left hook to the body by Malinaji. And they're talking to oh, each other. You have the surprise, surprise. <laughs> Shocking, huh? Broner will win that battle. Because... There's a nice left hook by Broner backing up Malinaji and actually bull rushing him into the ropes. Again, sticks the jab. Misses with the shoulder roll. Has the high guard. Right uppercut by Broner. That combination blocked by Broner, who continues to reiterate, you can't hit me. Double left hook by the challenger. Looking to win his third championship. Malinaji attacking the body with the jab. Flicks one upstairs. Three punch. Now putting together the combinations and landing on Broner. For the Broner defending as well. For the first time, Malinaji and Lewis are able to... <laughs> and of course, Broner has nuclear power in both hands. And Malinaji, the, the number of punches strong and landed twice as many. Very last one, two this upstairs, round. under 30 seconds. Through four rounds. Let's see what we think. Uh, I have got Malinaji ahead as the Steve Farwood and Bernard, you have it even. Steve, uh, why is Malinaji ahead by on your score? Oh. Al, uh, he's pecking and poking, but he's landing. Yep. Even I if agree. Malinaji's on the ropes and in the corner, it's not like he's getting peppered by Broder. So this is the, I mean, it's very, very close. There's a straight, the jab that pops Malinaji's head back, and Broder now getting busier. Right uppercut just misses. Jab and Broder. Some very nice 
shots. Turner looking to land one more big shot and does with the left hook. It's the first minute of the 11th. Matching punch for punch, though, with Malinaj. He's thrown exactly the same amount. Oh, there's a big left. Left hook connects. Malinaj goes to the body again. Under a minute left in the 11th round. And the welterweight champion, a prohibitive underdog, has to be pretty pleased thus far with his performance. He's, he's hanging in there against Adrian Broner. I think Broner's ahead in this fight. But and his power is the big issue. And the left hook now. Yeah, tasting more of that power. And the right hand connects by Broner. Counter left hook by Malinaji. Jab by Malinaji. But finds himself in the corner. Broner lands the right hand. And then the double left. One to the body and one to the... With Adrian Broner while he has controlled the number of rounds and landed big power punches. I have problem winning four rounds in this one. And the challenger imposing their will and skill on the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Broner, the double left hook to the face. Malinaji with the jab. Another jab by the champion. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Glenn Feldman scores about 115 to 113 in favor of Adrian Broner. Judge Tom Miller sees it 115 to 113 in favor of Pauli Malinaji. And Judge at ringside, Tom Shrek sees it 117 to 111 in favor of the winner. And the new WBA Welterweight Champion of the World, Adrian, the Problem Broner. Final thought. Any regrets about anything that went on in the pre-fights and all the news conferences? Negative. I'm good. I beat Polly. I left with his belt and his girl. Adrian, congratulations on winning the title. Polly, come on in. Of course you don't. Stop, stop. Hey, stop, stop. I'm just saying, you lost. I know, I know I lost. But, but don't, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Don't brag so, about so taking my side piece. Talk. Don't brag about taking my side piece, though. That's my side piece. You don't get laid. All right, all right.